Once you close down the bridges and the throughways into the Bronx, this shit would be just like a concentration camp. It's already like a makeshift reservation, and the only thing missing are the casinos with the valet parking. But I knew once they put that middle class coffee shop in the heart of Black Mecca, the rent will go up. Well, in the 50s and 60s, there was a move out of the urban areas by corporate America because their quick real estate dollar, the, the uh, great profits was being made and planned for suburbia. When we come together, we quickly change the pace, change the pace. unlocking mysteries from somewhere deep inside the space. We verbally create facilities. The name is Stephen Cotman. Everybody calls me Sticks. Basically, I wanted to find a place in the black community where I could sell my type of merchandise and try to get kind of exposure. With that kind of money into an institution uptown, somebody had to steal something. Well, they were dead wrong. Uh, if the people were here were not paying the rent, then it was the mistake of the management. Uh, once you put people in an area and you're the person to manage that area, you have to be able to know how to collect the rent and uh, how to make the place succeed. Thank you very much. Now I feel like I'm old. Thank you very much. And the business is, once the 125th Street becomes like 96th Street, it will become Starbucks City, to become Gap City, and it will become a multi-million dollar. We have Old Navy down the street. It's fine and good, but don't throw us out because of that. Today is Malcolm X's birthday. Shut him down, no shopping. Tell the stores to close to Adam Malcolm from 1 to 7. Shut him down! They said they want to break the window. Uh, that's pretty hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. We're not here to break your window. We just want you to respect Malcolm's birthday. They've seen the potential of Harlem as a middle class preserve, but the problem was that you had Spanish Harlem on both sides of the river and and African Harlem in the center. So what were you going to do with these populations? And so the plan is to gentrify. I certainly felt weird about being part of any potential gentrification, but um, at the same time, like I'm like a nice, regular, working class, low income person, and I feel like I'm kind of part of this community here, even if I'm not like racially the same as most people that live here. But when are we going to stop being pushed around? Pushed from this area to that area? We made Harlem. People around the world know Harlem because of the gifts, the brilliance of African people. So I cannot end it. I mean, I cannot answer now because they cannot take my business away from me, where they want me to be. Yeah. Got to get the money. Got to get paid.